One of the most important things as a photographer is get credibility and get credentials. So when a big website or a big company promotes your work and they feature you, this is super beneficial because more clients are going to trust you and you even have the chance to charge a bit more for your work because you have more reputation as a photographer. There are a few ways to be featured online, but I'm going to talk today about the ones that works best for me. In particular, they are four and you can start doing them right now to get exposure to grow online and to get those credentials in big companies or big websites. The first method would be through Instagram. I've been featured already in a few accounts, but my favorite one was Canon Spain. If you follow my channel, you know that I'm a Canon girl for 13 years already. And on top of that, you know I'm Spanish because of my accent. So Canon Spain contacted me twice for two little interviews and to feature a few of my photos in their Instagram account. So how did I get this? It's quite simple, but obviously you have to pay attention to some things. So if you open Instagram, this one is my travel account where I share wildlife and travel pictures. So I tag Canon through this account in some of my pictures. So if you go to Canon, it's in Spanish by translate. So basically it says, share your stories with Canon España and the act in front. So you have to tag them. And then there is two hashtags, Canon España and live for the story to be featured here. So it does say that in their bio. So what I do sometimes when my photography matches their profile, so don't tag any random picture if it doesn't match their profile because they not gonna feature you never. So what I do is go through their profile and you can see the kind of pictures they have, like nature pictures mostly. So I'm not gonna tag one of my self portraits or a client portrait here because they're not gonna feature me. So what I did is tag wildlife or landscape and what they did is feature my work. And also I was holding my camera once and it's a Canon camera. So they wanted to share that picture as well. So they share it. And if you go, for example, to Canon UK, same thing, you're gonna go here, Canon UK, and they have the hashtag as well. Basically, they say, share your stories with us by tagging Canon UK. So you tag Canon UK or Canon USA, wherever you are at, you have the chances to be featured. So what I do is put the hashtags they want and on top of that, I tag them. So I make sure they see it. And this happens with every single account. For my portrait photography work in my other portrait account, which is the main one, the one I use the most because unfortunately I'm not traveling, I go to big portrait accounts and most of them in their bio, they have hashtags for you to use for the chance to be featured. So this is gonna give you exposure by the account because they may reserve it. And if it's a company like Canon, this is huge because Canon is contacting you. This is super big for me. So I was very happy about it. So this is the first method. The second method is stock photography. And this one is by far one of my favorite ones, guys, because my pictures have been bought by BBC UK Fujifilm Europe in a couple of occasions, Booking.com and Business Insider, between many others. Actually, time ago, someone from Ecuador texted me on Instagram to let me know that my picture, one of my self-portraits in nature, was featured in Business Insider, which is a huge finance magazine in America. So these kind of things are a big achievement, guys, because those companies, between millions of pictures, they are choosing yours and they are buying it. You are not giving it for free. So these companies for me are huge and my pictures being seen in those magazines for me is incredible as a photographer. Thanks to stock photography as well, Shutterstock featured me three times. They did three interviews to me. I normally put pictures in Offset, which is the macro stock website of Shutterstock and they phoned me that way. So if you are not into stock photography yet, I highly recommend you to start. First of all, because you can make a lot of money from it and you don't need to be super professional. You can make money with your photos and they don't have to be incredible. Obviously it's better if they are good, but if they are average, you can still make money if you follow the videos I have on my channel about stock photography. I'm gonna link them down below because I walk you through everything from beginner to expert and you're gonna be able to sell your photos rather than have them sitting in hard drives basically because we all did that in some point and then you get the chance to be featured in big companies and seeing your pictures released in many magazines or websites and that's freaking amazing for me so I really hope you're gonna do it I do have in my private community a video about how much money I do in stock photography in one month 
and I think I'm gonna do more like this because you guys loved it and anyway you can take a look to all the stock photography videos I have on my channel because you're gonna learn a lot from it I take you step by step from royalties till what sells the most and how you have to upload to make so yourself so go check them out as well the third method would be by SEO in your website as you may know, I use the Squarespace because I can do my own blog, I can do my own stuff online to sell my presets, but now I'm talking about the blog. So every time you write an article and you illustrate it with pictures and you talk about whatever it is, Google finds those keywords. So when someone is looking for something, if you wrote an article about it, your website is gonna pop up. So what happened to me, I don't have that article anymore because it didn't match the aesthetic of my new redesign of the website, but I had an article about a vinyl record store in Berlin called Hardworks and I uploaded pictures about it. So a journalist from Taiwan was checking for pictures of this record store for my website and he contacted me by email to ask me permission and ask me a fee for some pictures for him to publish in a Taiwanese music magazine. I was so excited about this, guys, and I didn't expect it at all. And that guy phoned me through SEO. He was looking for pictures of the vinyl record store called Hardworks in Google, and my article popped up. He loved the pictures, and then he asked me, and now this article is published in their magazine. And this is super excited because I'm in a Taiwanese magazine, <laughs> you know, and this is from a blog. So if you want to try Squarespace, you're going to have a link below for a free trial. If you don't have a website, I don't mind what do you use. I recommend Squarespace because I tried many and Squarespace have everything in one place and I love it. And I do have a full video about this, about how to build a photography portfolio. And I walk you through my website and you guys love my website. <laughs> you send me so many emails asking me about it. If you have any question about the Squarespace, ask me because I always reply to every comment. But if you don't have a website, you have to have it. Look what happened to Instagram this week. So if you have your portfolio on Instagram, what are you gonna do when Instagram is down or maybe Instagram disappears? Don't rely on social media, make a website, could be a Squarespace or whatever. I recommend you this one because it's the one I use right now, but you can use any. But a blog would be very beneficial and even a shop online if you want in the future to sell your presets as well. But have a website because this is the only way you can be discoverable as well by clients in your blog. So if you're a portrait photographer and you share blog posts about what to bring to a photo shoot as a woman, as a man, kids, whatever, those people looking for a photo shoot in Google, probably they are looking for, I don't know, what to wear to a portrait photo shoot. And your website is gonna pop up with that article. And guess what? They're gonna say you're a photographer and they may hire you. So having a blog is very beneficial in your website. This is a great way as well to be featured and found by companies. The fourth method is YouTube. You don't need to be a professional photographer to have YouTube or be a teacher like I try to do all the time I can here. You don't need to do that. You can be sharing your learning process. You can talk about your favorite niche. You can blog about your life. You can blog about the days you go out to take pictures. You can do whatever you want. But YouTube is not just about sharing videos. You can get discovered as well by clients and companies. Because of YouTube, I made a few clients already. And on top of it, I've been featured twice as one of the best portrait photographers in London. And I was so excited about this because I didn't expect it. Someone saw my videos, they love my channel. And even the company texts me, send me an email to let me know, Laura, we feature you as one of the best portrait photographers in London. I was like, wow, I was super excited. And they found me on YouTube. So YouTube is not just about sharing videos and growing and growing and growing without having a big following yet. So please subscribe if you didn't yet and like the video because it helps me a lot. I've got this cover a few times already. So if YouTube is for you, please do it. You don't have to be professional to do that. But if it's not for you, at least do the other three things I told you. Look for hashtags and accounts in Instagram to be able to have more chances to be featured. Write in blog, have your own website and your own blog and write articles with your own photos to be able to be discovered and also join a stock photography website. As I told you before, I have so many videos about the stock photography. You're going to be able to learn everything about it. So go check them out. Comment below if you have any question about the Squarespace, about the stock photography, whatever it is. You know, I always reply to every single comment. At least for now I can. So please comment below if you need. And I will see you very soon. Big love to you all. Ciao.